the HP 250G7. A nice looking laptop, but also scrap. As you can see here, everything is missing on this laptop, man. But it's not as bad as we thought it was. So this is what the laptop basically looks like. And then on the other side, you'll see here, we don't have any screws on this laptop. But it's not until we open it up and then look at this. We got missing items. I mean, so much missing things. A missing CD drive, HDD, as well as a battery and RAM. We don't have none of those. But I had an old laptop like this and luckily I kept some of my spare parts which was crazy so I got the RAM, I got the battery and it was still in good condition as well as you can see nice and thin hard drive we're gonna be using a standard stock one terabyte hard drive it is a good name brand if you don't know Western Digital and also I do have this over here which is a CD-ROM drive so we're gonna go ahead and the first things first we're gonna install the RAM on this bad boy and you can have a look at this battery it is a good battery and it's very easy to install a battery like this all you're gonna do is slot it in there press down and yeah everything should be good we're gonna go ahead and install the battery fully by going ahead and screwing down your screws make sure they all tight boys so the battery goes nowhere now for the hard drive i'm gonna put it in and unfortunately we don't have a bracket over here that's gonna keep the hard drive down but that's fine because i'm going to replace it and i'm going to replace it with a m2 ssd as you can see here we do have the slot for m2 ssd so that's not really a big problem we're gonna go ahead and cover it up make sure everything's good slide in our rom and we should be good let's go ahead open it up and power this bad boy on and see what happens unfortunately it does not power on i enjoy the moment of the rain here look how crazy that looks plugged in a laptop charger and hopefully i thought that would get it going put the charger in press the power button and boom we had it going so now we know we have a working laptop so everything from here should be very very easy it just took a long time to load so i decided hey let me use this usb what we're going to use the usb for is obviously to flash it with rufus we're going to flash windows 11 well not the for the f formal no well not the proper version of windows 11 but we're going to be using windows 11 Lite, also known as tiny 11 do your research on that and you'll see how crazy this looks as you can see windows is installing here let's go now i can go grab a snack windows 11 is finally installed look at that a fresh windows there's no there's not really pre-installed apps which makes it very lightweight Have a look at the resources on this resources is looking quite great and this is in idle if you look at this in idle it's crazy compared to my pc i mean we'll compare to my pc now but if you go to processes and look at the cpu we're running we're running a seventh gen cpu even though it's an i3 let's compare it to my pc this is the laptop and this is my pc running in idle mode right now as you can see, I have an i7 7700K as the CPU. My memory is at 16 gigs. Disk usage is at zero. 
and then my GPU is a NVIDIA RTX 3060 the 12 gig and my secondary GPU is the integrated graphics crazy so we're gonna continue so we're gonna continue with the laptop first we're gonna open the Microsoft Store and make sure to download the browser for gamers Opera GX install Opera GX and guys trust me I'm thinking about this laptop plugging it into the screen I'm just thinking about that once you have that installed open up Opera GX make sure Windows is updated make sure all your drivers is updated and once GX is opened as you can see the laptop is quite snappy you guessed it we're gonna be using MTN Cloud Play just to see how it plays and how it works on a standard low-end laptop using a hard drive so we're gonna go ahead and log into our MTN account once we logged in you can see Fortnite over here and many other games but I think in this video what we're gonna try to do is run Fortnite on this so let me go ahead and plug in this laptop to the screen and then from the we'll continue so I got the mouse and keyboard plugged into the laptop and the laptop is plugged into the screen as you can see it's displaying what's on the laptop on the screen so that's not really a biggie we just want to see will Fortnite work on this low-end gaming laptop like I'm saying mouse and keyboard is connected and as you can see Fortnite Battle Royale is running oh my days now I mean there is just a little bit of input delay I'm moving my mouse around and I can feel quite a bit of input delay but I mean there should be some settings that you can tweak in order for it not to have this much input delay so I'm not gonna load into a fighting match or anything like that I just want to walk around in a quick match and show you that this is crazy loading into a game now and we've loaded into squid games octo game whatever you want to call it like I'm saying there is a bit of input delay 60 FPS is what we are playing in right now and as I'm swapping the camera over so I can use my hand on the keyboard just so I can move around this is doable this is okay I mean this is fine I don't find a problem with this I don't see any problem with this I mean if you are on a budget and you don't have anything except a broken laptop like what how I did I mean I did have the parts for it but regardless if you have an old machine an old laptop give this a go it works it's crazy boys peace